All right. <clears throat> Excuse me. What's up, everyone? Just want to take a look around in my little tanks I made for my Drosera Adelaide. So these got a glass top on them with some um, openings for air. This one has it right here, right in the front. So, Drosera Adelaide. See all this, the dew on it. Now it's gonna start flickering in and out because I'm too close to the light. Got some little clipping right there. So that started off as a leaf cutting. So that's a leaf cutting. And then we got two more leaf cuttings there. And I've got some fish food, because I'm just feeding it some fish food. Um, those little white specks there are old fruit flies. Um, when you feed these guys, because of the high humidity, it's gonna get, it's gonna look all like fungusy on there. Um, started to notice that I got a um, what, a little sprout growing there from the roots instead of a leaf cutting. Um, so again this is all sphagnum peat moss. So sphagnum peat moss all the way up to right here and then like that way back I put um, the perlite peat moss mix on top of the uh, sphagnum so they've been growing in pretty good and because it's been growing in pretty good I decided to do another one because um, they just be growing up pretty sprouting up uh, pretty quickly and again, this one's just sphagnum moss, so I got um, sphagnum moss and perlite mix in the back. And you can see this one's had lower humidity because this one, this guy was in this tank right here, and we'll talk about that one right now. I just switched them over, and this plant was in this one, and it kind of wasn't doing so good, so I just kind of switched it over. And it doesn't even have a glass top right here. It's just a screen top. And it was still um, keeping in enough humidity that it was growing. So I kind of swapped it. And it's doing pretty good. And this one's newer. I think like a week or two. So this one's like a week or two set up. And so is that one. And the idea is eventually I'll have this just full of Drosera Adelaide. And same thing with this one. So when you're looking at it, it's going to just be packed and full. Same thing with this one. Hold on. Um, hopefully, it'll do the same thing. But it's not looking too good right now. So this one is just sphagnum moss. No dirt. Sphagnum moss and distilled water with the light. This one has sphagnum and dirt. So... That is new with these indoor tanks that I'm doing for these carnivorous plants. So again, that is some fish food flakes. Some fish food flakes on there. And then this one, we have some more, uh, see some more little pups coming up there. These are so sticky. That's coming up and that's coming up. And I think there's another one that's going to be coming up over here. Yeah, that's another one. So eventually it'll, you know, spread out. And hopefully it'll look really cool. So this is uh, some forkleaf sundew that is, um, I just put a clipping on top of the water. Let's see if I can get a closer look. So yeah, so this is just a clipping in water. I mean a clipping, a leaf clipping I just put on top of the moss and I can put it outside once it gets, um, you know, once it gets bigger. Same thing here, these are more leaf, um, thread leaf sundews that I just cut and then throwing them in there to try it and sprout some new sprouts, you know, some little babies. 
So hopefully. So that's just that's it for now. Let's see on that next check-in if it's gonna be how filled in it's gonna be. So there the, there it is. I don't know what you would call it, my terrarium. You can call it a mini because it's not a big one, a mini shelf bog. Carnivorous bog, I don't know. So whatever I name these titles, just roll with it, okay? Sometimes I have a lot of bowl of Cheerios before, <clears throat> before I start talking about my animals, so my words get all weird. <laughs> but y'all know what I mean when I'm talking. Um, but yeah, so I'll do another checkup and then we'll see how well this Adelaide is growing in. Definitely got to see if this one, uh, if this guy right here, I think it's an um, Drosera Andromeda. Andromeda and Drosera Adelaide. So yeah, and then again, these spots on the leaves are just because of the, like the fruit flies and then it was in, it was in a humid environment before I put it in here so it'll get that those spots on there so yeah so I mean if you're worried about those if you're worried about that then you could just always spray you can always spray them off and then just keep to like keep the doors open a little bit if you're doing it in something like this you know just that way you get more air in there because it's, you have to find that balance because they like um, about 100% humidity, but yet good airflow, which, you know, it's kind of hard to do if you're opening stuff, so. Yeah. All right, thank you for listening to my little spiel. Check in later and see how it grows. Okay, bye.